Clello, I have returned. Cluck the claters, yeah, yeah. The Clive style's not going anywhere. Lunchbox. I am going to make one last video where I address some BS. And I know people have said don't. Just don't give them the satisfaction. But it's one thing when people want to mock me and my Clive, but when they drag my clanly into it, <laughs> no, I'm going to clear it up and I'm not going to talk about it anymore after this because if you choose to believe this stuff after this video, you are beyond help. I will refer people to this video if they have not seen it in the future and they these questions come up yet again. Um, but aside from that, I'm done talking about this because it is so absolutely stupid, it's clinsane. Now briefly, uh, yes I did film while I was in the woods, I will upload that. It's as much footage as I could get before my camera died slash before I just wanted to go completely off the grid and just stop filming and just take in nature. this in a post I started writing some songs some lyrics uh, usually I just come up with my songs off the top of my head I know crazy but that, that's the truth um, but this time I decided I was gonna really just put some effort into it and I felt very inspired being out there amongst nature and everything um, speaking of which <laughs> a few of you owe me some clunny because yeah, uh, it's just fascinating. This this whole experience was really great because it taught me that truly, like it really instilled in me that no matter what you say or do, people are never going to be satisfied. Uh, like I said, I'm clearing you know this information up because I just don't want people thinking this of my clanly and stuff. Like it's not fair to them; they didn't sign up for this. But um, but yeah, I just people said I wouldn't go. They said that constantly because I was taking my time getting ready to go live in the woods. And then when I did go, there was all the skepticism saying that I got a photo that I took myself off of Google because people don't understand how Google reverse image works. And then when I, you know, proved that I was actually there and that it wasn't a picture that I had stolen, no one said anything. And that's just how people operate. They want a scandal. They want to believe what they want to believe. Confirmation bias at its best. Sorry, I just had to take a moment to record this separately because this comment um there were a few like it what are the odds that there's a busted ass broken ass piece of shit wood chair that's like has wood rot this this was the the clevidence a piece of shit chair that i found in the woods that somebody abandoned Whew. it's just sad the the public education in clamerica is lacking and it's sad, we're seeing a lot of that right now with the corona. It's tragic how people are just so ignorant and like putting others in danger, you know. My situation is really nothing in comparison to what's going on. So I, I was really bothered by it, which is one reason why I decided to take some time off from the from the clinternet. Um, just really disturbing comments, like one person who, I thought her profile picture was rather ironic, said something about me popping pills. I'm like, yeah, I, I'm such a pill popping maniac, I take Clanty, depressant, just very strange stuff. Like people just saying things without any basis for it. Um, while also accusing me of being a liar, which is very interesting. But anyway, I just, I, I realized I needed to get my shit together when I was out there writing lyrics and really just thinking about who I am, what kind of person I am, and what kind of person I want to be. And I left, I stayed with a friend of mine who lives alone, she had kicked her clavy daddy out. Um, I mentioned her before, I stayed with her previously. And it was, you know, it was going pretty well. She stayed in the house a lot, so I wasn't worried about the corona. And then I did get in contact with Clobin eventually, because he was quite worried. And I saw, eventually I did, you know, go back on the internet and I saw a little bit of what people were saying. And apparently people thought I was dead. So I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta clear that up. And Clobin is saying with his, whoever what I don't, I don't really care honestly I'm over it I don't want to be with him um, I want to get a divorce personally but he is very 
weird about that, which doesn't make any sense. I don't understand what his girlfriend or whoever thinks about that. It's a little strange, but we came to an agreement because he had been staying with her during this whole ordeal and the apartment was just empty. And I wanted to get Drexel because he was staying at my mother-in-law's. I dropped him off there before I went off into the woods. So I was like, you know, I want to be reunited with him. Um, my, my friend, she's not really a huge fan of cats. And then her baby daddy was coming back. And I was like, I don't know where the hell he's been. So basically, Claude and I came to an agreement that I would come to the club apartment, you know, with Drexel. I have him now and he's just off doing his thing. I don't really care. Um, I believe that his girlfriend, whoever, she's paying the rent there and then he's paying the rent here at least until this whole ordeal is over because I have been doing some soul searching. I've been trying to just just get some diagnoses and just figure out some things about my life so that I can just get a job and possibly a career and become a productive clember of society because that is something that I decided that I want to do. And of course, if I decide that we're in a pandemic, so it's making things a bit hard but it's okay because I am, you know, I'm doing my Swedish. I am actually continuing my Swedish, learning Swedish. I had stopped that for a while and I'm making progress. I am, I'm proud of myself. And that is truly all that matters. But like I said, I just wanna clear up some things. And then after that, we can just move on. I think it could be fun to maybe make Clidios daily or every other day during this time. A lot of people are trapped inside. Just, you know, some uplifting, fun Clidios, maybe some Kluzig, maybe, just ranting about the state of the, the world and how people are stupid, you know, the, the, the clusual. Um, do some clake up, this and that, and yeah. But before we can have fun, I just want to squash the bullshit. Um, again, I'm sorry for scaring people and worrying you. I did say that I was likely not dead, likely meaning I can't predict the future, but like I was, I was just going off the grid. I didn't disappear like without saying anything. Um, some people think they're entitled to my time and all that. I'm no, I'm not really a people person. I like who I like and and I don't feel the need to to just cater to everyone's every whim. I, I, I did what I felt I needed to do. People encouraged me to do it to go to leave and then when I left it was still bullshit, you know so again, it was it was a nice experience because it helped me realize that no matter what you do, truly, you, you just got to do it for yourself because no one's ever going to be happy or content. Now, getting into this whole parody page that I'm not going to mention, if you know, you know, it's obviously not me. I don't know how else I can say that. Um, some poor fools think it's me because common sense is just absolutely dead. It's obliterated. It's been shot to hell. Um, it was murdered, dragged from the back of a truck, and then the body was chopped into a million pieces and it was dumped, scattered all over the entire globe. So yeah, there's no hope for that, but I just wanted to say, again, that's not me. I literally left a review on the page saying that it's not me. I don't know what else you want from me. What would be the point of me being like, yeah, this is all an elaborate ruse. I'm really trying so hard to, to convince you all that, that this is real when it's not real as these people think, but I'm also, I have a page where I talk about how it's not real. Does that make any sense? It doesn't make any sense. That's not me. It's some person who likes to pretend to be me for some weird reason and, and just say bullshit. And these people consider themselves to almost be like truthers or something about my plight, which is really bizarre because even if this was all fake, who, who cares? Like, first of all, why would I, what, what, what would the point of this be? What would, why would I keep this up for this long? What am I gaining from this? I don't really understand what they think the motivation is. I feel like these people think that I'm, I don't know what they think. I really don't know. They think I have some kind of clempire or something because I sell merch. I can't even, it's, it's embarrassing how much, how much money I did not make because my prices were so low when I first started. I think I sold like almost $2,000 worth and I made about a hundred bucks. I'm really killing it. The, this is the plan fake a bunch of bullshit elaborate stuff to sell a couple not even a couple hundred a hundred dollars worth of merch they say that they want the truth and that they they just care about the facts but then they repeat stuff like this this one really got me because it says that i have a niece who is perpetuating this now if you're not familiar with this whole saga Someone posted like almost a year ago something about, I think it was a, in the summer when I was living in Clamerica 
and they said that they were my cousin and that me and my mom, my mother, they brought my mother into this, were part of some elaborate scheme to scam my followers. That's one of their main theories or assertions is that I scam people. Um, I've never asked anybody for clunny. I'm actually very outspoken about don't give me your clunny unless you want to buy something and I can sell a product because I'm not interested in just like taking your money just for nothing. I don't need it. Like if I, I would have a hard time asking for clunny if I was literally homeless, let alone living in a club apartment. That's just not something that I would do personally. No shade to people who do, people fall in hard times, but like I'm very fortunate to not have to do that um, for various reasons. So. I don't really get where that comes from. I made one GoFundMe as a joke talking about how I wanted to earn money uh, to buy a Clegophone because I was too cheap to buy a $40 Clegophone, which was a joke, not a cent was given to me. I don't know how to turn off GoFundMe's. It's buried somewhere. I don't want it. If you actually would send money to that, I would give it back to you. Um, there was another time where some guy said he wanted to raise money to send kids to a circus. And I was like, oh, that's cool. He started to go find me. I had nothing to do with that. And then he seemed shady. So I told everybody, ignore this. And I deleted the links. But I've never taken plenty from anyone. Another time was a guy said he wanted to, he wanted pictures of my feet. I said, pay me. He said, you know, I will. I posted my PayPal as a joke. But also, if he wanted feet pics, hell yeah, I would give him feet pics for plenty. But I didn't post it because I was like, everyone, please give me plenty. No one gave me anything, and if they had, I would have sent it back. So these are the examples of me scamming people. What, a, what an elaborate scam. Some guy said that he wants feed pics. I said, pay me. He said, yes. I post link. No one donated. I am quite the scammer. Frank Abagnale Jr. has got nothing on me. I am quite the con clardist. Now going back to this whole thing where this random person said they were my cousin, and then this genius said, actually, apparently it's my niece my sister who's younger than me but the oldest of my youngest sisters is 18 years old even if she had a child at a young age as people do how would that child be old enough to post on facebook the shit that was posted it's just so astronomically stupid. These people say that my followers are dumb because they believe all the bullshit that I spew. But then they believe bullshit like that that doesn't even make any goddamn sense. You say you want the truth, that's bullshit and you know it. You're desperate for drama. That you are literally creating things that don't even make sense. Like logically, that's impossible. But that is something that you believe because you're that damn stupid. It's like... At least these theories could make sense. That's the thing that always gets me. They just don't. They don't make sense. It's not adding up. Like I always say, make it make sense. And no one ever can. It's crazy. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm not scamming people. I've never asked anybody for a dime, like sincerely, aside from a fake ass, like joke megaphone GoFundMe that I post on my personal Facebook as a joke, never posted on the page. I'm being transparent because I know that people will bring this up. But I'm like, I, I don't do that stuff anymore because people can't, first of all, can't take a joke. They always say, why don't you make jokes? You're a clown. And then when I make a joke, I'm scamming people. And people are just too stupid. They're too stupid to handle like these types of jokes. So I just, I can't anymore. Um, regarding the whole thing where, you know, I do still have my beliefs about the government and everything. I'm just not going to speak on that anymore. Um, I've had some scary experiences. I just don't think it's worth it to talk about it. People are not, some people are open-minded and I will get back to your messages. Some of you who message me about this, I'm sorry it's taken so long. I've, a lot's been going on, but I do want to have an open dialogue about that. Um, some people found some stuff where I talked about how I was joking and I didn't actually believe that. I don't know what you expect me to say aside from, yeah, that's totally how I feel. CIA. Um, yeah, it's, I have my beliefs, I'll leave it at that, and some of them are just, you know, I was just messing around a little bit, but DM me if you want to have a conversation about the truth, that's all I'm going to say, because I'm not stupid. I believe I covered everything, um, I'm really trying, but yeah, uh, it's just... 
another reason I left was just that some of the comments were getting to me. Some of the things people were saying was just like really awful and I just couldn't take it. And people told me if you can't take it, leave. So I left. And now I feel like I'm in a better place, so I've returned. And I know that people who say these things, it has nothing to do with me and it has everything to do with you. If you are critical with me and what I'm doing with my life, I suggest that you unfollow me and block me, but I know that you won't. And I have to admit, that makes me feel kind of powerful. It's kind of amazing that people can dislike you, but still keep track and keep tabs on every move that you make. It's pretty insane. It's, it's, it's quite invigorating. It's exhilarating, actually. So yeah, I'm gonna focus on my clenchables who I club, and I'm still gonna clap back and talk shit like I always do, and I'm just not gonna care what people say anymore. If you wanna say, why don't you give us enough attention, we club you, get over it. If you wanna say, you're fake, and your whole class made up, and, and you didn't actually go into the woods, get over it. What if I didn't? What if I didn't go into the woods, and it was all fake, and it was all on a sound stage? Well, what are you gonna do about it? People are so desperate to, to, to expose me. Why? What do you gain from that? What the fuck do you think is going to happen, even if that were true? Even if it was all bullshit and you exposed me, nobody cares. I think that's what really gets you. That people club me and what I'm about, no matter what. Because I'm LLB. I'm Will Lunchbox. And I'm never, ever going anywhere. Fuck. I'm gonna keep that because I am human and humans make mistakes. I am not going anywhere. I will always be here. And if you don't like it, sucks for you. Like it really sucks to suck. That, that's, that's about it. Um, but I'm, I'm having fun as I always do. I'm, I'm cajoling myself. I took the time away that I needed to take and now I'm back stronger than ever. And I, I'm gonna be making a lot of music from those those lyrics that I wrote and I'm really excited about it. I can only play about maybe maybe three chords on the guitar, but you know, it's just it's klusik and klusik is whatever you want it to be. So sorry that was quite long, but I felt like I had a lot of things to cover and if you have any questions feel free to ask. I am just I just feel really good and I feel really focused on what I want to do. I'm still engaged to Tressa, who I love dearly, and yeah, she was. we were talking about her potentially coming to visit, and that's not really going to happen anytime soon, um, or I could go there, you know, whatever, it just, it's not going to work out right now, but hopefully this will subside if people just stay their ass inside, but you know, people just can't do that, you know, if you're an essential worker or whatever, you know, respect, but if you're not and you're still going out to go get Starbucks and stuff, Cluck you. You are a clidiot. You are beyond dumb. And I hope that your crops fail, that you have horrible nightmares for the rest of your life, and that you get stung by a bee in your ass every fucking day for the rest of clitternity. And then a mosquito stings you in between your toes. And that, that bump is large but not large enough that you can scratch it, you know what I mean? Like it's, you feel it, but it's so hard to get it because it's between your toes, like that kind of feeling. I hope that happens to you if you keep just clucking around and acting stupid during a literal pandemic. Also, congrats to Clamerica for being number one. It's not what Clamerica's all about, being number one. You did it! All right, have a class day. Don't let the players get you down. I love you all so much. And someone's gonna be butt hurt because you made a joke regarding Clamerica being number one. Oh, get over it. I don't care. Cancel me.